Um, I guess we're supposed to keep on going. Let's go get the car. Yeah. And I guess I'm jumping now because I can. And I was completely wrong on how long this level was since we still have another... Apparently another segment to do. But, you know, the point was that this is a... Um, Hey, the guy's still here. Well, if he wants to, if he wants to hang out with us, he is more than welcome. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I just like it that he he, he just stayed sitting here. This... Oh, that that's not good. That's no good. No. In fact, this is awful. Oh god. Come on, car. You can do it. <laughs> well then, is there an achievo for this one? For being a dumbass? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's too bad. There'd be a lot of people who uh, get get that achievo, though. Yeah. Oh, good God damn it! They've got a, a winch here in front of the car, but of course it's just decoration. Mm. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay. Oh, nice! I think that did it. There we go. Yeah. I still feel super bad because you know Ramirez here was on the receiving end of that um, fine, fine vehicle stunt. <laughs> Who? I, I have I don't know who Ramirez is. It's oh fine. yeah, no, we, no, no. There no, was only four survivors here. You know. Yes. He was like that when we came here. Yep. Oh jeez. Um, let's see. There's maybe over there behind the cliffs. Maybe. Over thereabouts, maybe. Okay. Let's turn around. I'm not sure if he came from there or a little more to the left. So let's at least go check it out. What the hell? What? What car trap have we gotten ourselves into with these rocks? Yeah. Who no, no, don't do this, this again. Oh, God, no. no I, I'm trying not to. I'm okay. just turning around. Oh, boy. No, but this is what I mean about the old, old design. Like, I'm sure that this this probably was very um, intuitive back in the day. Mm. But, like, considering how, like, the kind of games we play now and the kind of... Uh, I wouldn't say hand-holding, because there are some... It's gotten even more complex in many, many regards. Mm. Uh, but it, it, there are certain quality of life uh, improvements. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's take this path. There's two paths here. I think this one's new. Yeah, this one's bending to the right. And we got a checkpoint, so that's promising. Ooh. Hey, it's a river and a waterfall. I picked up reports that the covenant has lovely design. The uh oh, there's an elite up on that position. One beneath us. Eat chain gun. Oh, hey, hey, buddies. You want to step step back a bit, fellas. Dikes! There, one elite down. All right. Yikes! I ate some needles. I'm still okay. I'm gonna get the cover behind these rocks. So we haven't had too many new enemy types. In fact, we've fought three enemies, and there aren't a lot of enemy types in this game. Halo's interesting in that the design... It uses very few enemy types, but it's more about the, like, gear that they come with that kind of varies up the combat. Oh, I... Accidentally discovered something. Um, really? Yeah. Press tab. Okay. Ooh. Well, doesn't this look two thousand one y? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought how that... how big the improvements are. Yeah, this is fun. Look at that stuff. All two thousand one Master Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember this feature being here. I, I I watched someone play this game, and I remember them tabbing with this every once in a while. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Crappy 2001 dropship. Dropship! Oh no! <laughs> if you're super good with a sniper rifle, you can catch enemies. There's like a little crack between the two dropship doors. You can like snag enemies before it even opens like up. That? Yeah, but if like if it like lines up perfectly, you can get them when it's still closed the doors. Oh really? Yeah, because there's like a tiny little sliver you can see inside. Hey, you jackal, what are you doing here? Oh, they killed me. Okay, I will backing off. Oh, this is bad. There goes my all my pride and all ego. It's like, hey, I shot them while they weren't anticipating it, and then they proceeded to kill me. Mm. All good, all good. Backing off, so... Yeah, like I mentioned in um, 
the co-op, uh, the other player spawns, but only if you're like, quote unquote, away from combat, which in practice means you're like, got distance on the enemies. Are you still waiting to spawn? Uh, yeah, because you're still in combat. Yeah, this one elite just is on my ass. Now Cortana's getting on my tail about me backing away. Give me a break, Cortana. It's two elites. Ah! Oh. Nerds. Oh well, we get this turf. Alright, first death of the game, like proper game over. No big deal. Yeah, those elites are pretty fast. I should, in hindsight, I should just grab the car and gain some distance quick with that. Yeah. Alright. Oh, nice, we got three of them before they even cleared the dropship. Good. Yeah, I killed, killed both of the elites. That really evens things up. Ah, shit. Dropship. That's the last of them. Roger that. Well, that one will look better. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> New traffic on the Covenant Battle.net. I found Captain I'm actually really impressed. Like, I, I'm going now back and forth with the, uh, the old and the new stuff, and, like, the, uh, things that they've done are really, like, tasteful remasters, like, lighting engine and stuff like that, but for a 20-year-old game, now looking at it, like, in its 20-year-old form, they're still, like, the Halo ring is still really impressive. And there's a planet there. I, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if that had been added, but no, it's still in the original. Yeah. A, a lot of the sense of scale and everything, it's still there. It's, it's you know, it's simplified. They're, they're using a lot less polygons mm. for everything. But and like, less grass everywhere. Yeah. Groovy. Oh, but then if you don't don't tab it before you go into a cutscene, you get to see the cutscene in its original glory. <laughs> well, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on the viewer, I have the updated one going here, so enjoy. <laughs> All right, level three, Truth and Reconciliation. So just as a recap, if our yammering bothered you. Oh, well, here it is actually, Cortana's giving it. The Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that varies troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once you get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit him, Marines! Go, go, go! The core ain't right. paying us by the hour! Let's roll, Stick people. To the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. Yeah, I think this is kind of a stealth mission at first, like a little bit. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Yeah. Yeah, like... Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. Covert. They're, they're already firing on us. <laughs> Alert. A Covenant is making a run for that stationary gun. Take him out. Let him have it! I mean, that's one way to stop him from getting the stationary gun. Yeah. Huh? Two for flinching. Yep. So yeah, Captain Keys is now hostage of the Covenant. He was the captain at the start of the game. We have to board the enemy cruiser and save him. It is our next stop. We're now we're now actually like formulating a plan now because that last level, like I mentioned, was a bit a bit a bit aimless. It was just about surviving in this new world. More guys coming from the hill. Thank you, sir. Can you pick up enemy? Uh, sorry, can you pick up allies' guns in this one? Uh, I don't know if you can take it from directly from them, but if you just look at any gun that's on the ground and hold it down E, uh, you should e be able to take it. Yeah, that that absolutely that I know. But there's a fun feature in at least the later Halos where you can swap guns with the uh, ally soldiers. Another like little neat detail, I think. Stop. <laughs> yeah. 
Motion tracker shows movement around the next bend. Okay, one of the things I'm finding really interesting is that if you look at the original graphics here, mm -hmm. what they've managed to do is that the, the vertical sense of, like, when you look up is really good, even the old ones. But then vertical sense looking down, it just looks like there's a ground, there's like a floor right, right under us. Oh, yeah, that's a bit... Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's just one big texture there, but, skybox. But then, like, in the, in, the, in the new skyboxes in the present day, these are obviously much better because they have, like, a parallax view and they actually feel like there is, you know, something there. There's the actual mountainside there rather than a flat surface below yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, as it's still impressive what they did with the skybox, oh, oh, yeah. so, like, you know, you lived it the best. Oh yeah, this is like uh, this is still obviously, you know, hugely impressive for uh, its time. It's just fun to look at them now that I know that there's the way to look at the old stuff. And yeah, I'm sure, absolutely. Like, in, uh, in another, oh god, because I think it's been already oh, ten years since the first Dishonored. Uh, so let's think... see. Um, I think it was 2013. I think so. Almost, almost ten years. Okay, so yeah, but in, in a, give it another 10 years after that. Um, I'm sure that we'll look at the graphics in that angle, oh. that they're very quaint. By Elite, one of them one of them zigged when they should have zagged and went over the cliff. Oh dear. Yeah. That'll be interesting, actually, yeah. Because, you know, let's be, I'm, we're both big Dishonored fans, so that'll be a fun retrospective someday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I love Dishonored. I think it's the whole series is just... Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I even I know a lot of a lot of people thought that two was more of the same, but I thought it was pretty good. Oh, I loved it, part, part two. I, I, I both of those games have been been interesting. Like when I first played them, the very first playthrough, I felt like disappointed. Okay. It's been, like I remember like, the first, very first one. I remember playing it and going like, "What the hell is this shit?" And like it's just like a thief knockoff. Mm. And then like I put it down and I've come back to it. Um, like in a week or two, and then for some reason after like the initial whatever reaction it is, um, I've been able to sit down and to like start looking through the uh, finer details. Right. And each time I've ended up coming away completely loving the game. Oh no, this marine got grenaded. Poor guy. Yeah, uh, the one thing I'd say about Dishonored that it's not bad, but it takes getting used to if you've played games like Thief, is that there's no, like, uh, shadow mechanic. No, no, like, shadows don't affect your visibility. It's just all about, like, avoiding... Get, getting, like, objects between you and the enemy in field of view. So that, like, yes. that, that like at first is something you have to, like, make peace with, but, like, when you get used to that, you know, great game. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, there's two elites here. It's two shots to take out an elite with a sniper rifle on heroic. But um, still pretty good, this gun on them. There we go. It's only one grenade to take out an elite. <laughs> That's certainly true. Oh, there's a dropship here in the back bringing more troops. Ah, oh, oh, it's crap. just a couple of a couple of small fry. I think I got them. What are you shooting at me for? Come here, Q. Come here. Our Reach has a really funny thing with the Grunts, uh, Halo Reach, because uh, the Grunts don't breathe oxygen, they breathe methane, so those big pointy things on their backs are actually methane canisters. Uh, mm -hmm. So sometimes in Halo Reach, when you shoot them, the methane goes off and they go flying like a bottle rocket. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, I think that's both of us. Yikes! It was, damn. P poor, 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 poor timing on our front, because, yeah, I just got needled super hard. I got hit with a grenade. Oh well. Can't be too hard to retake this. Oh yeah, more of that sense of scale. The truth and reconciliation is right above us. You can see that the like teleport glowy bit is like behind those mountains. Looks really yep. good. Oh and shit, there's turrets. That actually reminds me, we were talking about the ring world earlier. Mm. Um, I was trying to trying to remember what it reminded me of. Um, it, was it the book by Larry Niven called Ring World? Well, obviously that, uh, but actually I haven't read that one, so... I haven't either, um, but uh, it, it always gets brought up in conjunction. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of um, Arthur C. Clarke's Rendezvous with Drama. 
Oh, 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 oh! I know the Rama stories because there was a, a there was a um, adventure game made about them in the '90s, but uh, yeah, I'm not um, super familiar with them. Yeah, visually and stylistically, like the um, the Ring World, because um, he has a lot of similar kind of like visuals, at least in the um, the covers of the books that they've made of um, the series. Right. Like there are there are the worlds that are like. Uh, you know, cascading on top of one of uh, one of another, and okay. they're really, really, really uh, evocative and beautiful. And I think that this has always brought that to mind. Um, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I'll have to check it out. I, I know I only know the um, old adventure game. I haven't read the book, sadly. So. Turned invisible. Yes, I oh, found a power the... up. There are some oh, okay. power ups in this game, and oh, sweet. If you see like this, it's like a pyramid with a blue orb in the center, that will make you Predator. Nice. Here comes that other dropship. Let's see if... Oh no, I've lost my sniper rifle when I spawned back. Ah, see, that's what I mean. It's so frustrating. They give you the sniper rifle at the start, because clearly this is designed for you to use that in this level, and now I don't have it. Ugh. I'd have to... I'd have to hunt down where I, like, left it. When I died, and I can't remember. Oh goodness, these turrets are are absolutely useless. Oh really? I hopped, yeah, I hopped in one and started shooting at the enemies, and they just walked up to me and killed me. Well, isn't that, isn't that a kick in the sack? <laughs> yes, right well, in the sack, Bill Baggins says. Oh dear. Okay, action has cooled down now, so I think you spawned back. Yes. Yep. Okay. Groovy. It's, uh, over here is the place where I went and got my keister handed. Yeah, my yeah. keister so royally kicked. Right. Let's see. I died somewhere on this land bridge, so let me quickly have a look if my sniper rifle's still here. Uh, I don't see it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have just have to let it be and carry on with this gear. One thing that's also, uh, like, in terms of lighting, uh, like, this level, especially on the original one, it's really dark. Like, it's really hard to tell what's going on. Good point. I just turned it on, and yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit grim. Alright, that's one turret down. Yeah, but now I don't have the sniper rifle, which they really kind of wanted you to use to take those turrets out from afar. Uh, I'm gonna have to just... Try to YOLO it. Alright, I've killed the guys. Nice, this this turret just got occupied. I'm trying to take it out. I think I got him. Alright, I'm gonna hop onto this thing. Alright. Um, whoa, take watch me. out, there's a dropship right next to you! Uh, and they're not gonna take me up. They won't beam me to their leader. Unfortunate. Let's try uh, some more aggression in negotiations. In fact, I got a bad feeling that that might be bringing stuff down! Oh, shit. Just deployed a full troop of guys. Yikes. Another one! Fortunately, they stand still so I can just beam them with the grenade. <laughs> cool, I just got my 100th elite, elite kill. That's between all the games we've played, not just today's session. Yeah, that would be quite a lot for just today. Yeah, I have like crazy amounts of enemies. <laughs> All this poor grunt. You viewers at home got to see what happens when the grunt gets hit with one of the grenades. They don't have a good time with it. Oh no, they got me with the needler. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm being needled as well. Check off! Oh, yeah, I, okay, I, I'll back off a bit, sorry. I got really occupied there. Ah, except these damn elites won't let me back off. Oh, I think the elite dropped. Oh, there's still a jackal here. I'll take him out, and I think... I think you should be able to spawn. Yep. I am back. Good. Well, can't get any worse than that, I'm sure. <laughs> Drops instantly a couple of hunters. Oh! There they are! Yeah, I remembered this. <laughs> I did not, so damn it. Yeah. 
so these are the fourth alien type we've met, the Hunter. These guys are freaking rough. They have um, what's basically like a grenade launcher, which is why I'm doing a crazy joust so they don't shoot me with their grenade launcher. They have an oh, obvious weak point on their back, their big orange bit, so that's the goal yeah. of fighting these. Oof! They are a lot easier um, in this first one than they are in later games. Oh, yeah, we just beat them, didn't we? Huh, okay. Yeah. And I told you about the um, silly lore of the game. You'll notice hunters always appear in pairs. Well, we once met two pairs, but anyway, there's always pairs. Um, I don't know if there's some gameplay reason, but the story reason is that they like, they like become blood brothers in hunter society, and they're like bonded for life. And that's why there's always two of them hanging out. I, yeah, ever, ever since you told me that, I just I, I can't get it out of my head that the uh, hunters in their language are essentially just going like, Yeah, bro, we're gonna go fuck them up, bro. Well, let's yeah. freaking do it! I hate those humans! I can't wait to shoot them with my fuel rod yeah. gun! Nice chirping, bro. <laughs> oh, good, because we're, we're gonna do the Independence Day thing. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. That didn't go too bad. Alright, truth and reconciliation. Oh look, here's one of the Wraith tanks. Oh, uh, I wish we could drive that around here. Yeah. This one's just a prop, <laughs> unfortunately. Not, not to mention, this one's the one I said that you can't originally pilot in Halo. I don't know if they've changed it for oh. Anniversary Edition. Whoa! Where'd you show up from? There's an invisible guy here. Oh, Yikes. this is the one where they actually, they show you the sword, but they don't actually let you use it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about when I mentioned earlier that, um, like, uh, they give you, like, like, like there'd be weapons and gear that you can't use. Like, they, they do make those in later series, because I think it's part of that simulationism that they want every tool to be available to the enemy and the player, but, um... They hadn't, like, worked that out to its completion yet in the first yeah. Halo. Like, they did what they could, but stuff like these dudes will, um, unfortunately, demonstrate that they're not there yet. Yeah. Because the pla this plasma sword's super good. It's like a one-hit kill melee weapon. But, um, unfortunately, now it's only in enemy hands, which is no bueno. Yeah. Eat it. But I do remember this, playing this level for the very first time and just freaking out over the thing that suddenly you can't see the enemies anymore. This was, yeah, this was a mean encounter, especially because, you know, they come at you from all directions, so it's... I think it's almost, you know, there's barely any guys alive anymore. I think that's kind of the feeling they're trying to get into you, is that, um... You know, you try to make this, you know, amazing assault and you get immediately bopped and half the team is dead. And boy, how do they succeed on that front? Yeah. That's what you get for Leroy Jenkins in it. Yeah. Oi. Ooh, a little bit of health here. Thank you. Oh, they got me. That sword is really tough. It, it is. I mean, like I said, it's, it's auto-kill for us as much as it is for the enemy. In fact, it's only for us. Again, because we have... Damn it, I'm out of bullets. Give me something. There we go. We have uh, no option this time to use those. Uh, I think we might get the fuel rod gun eventually, which is the grenade launcher that the hunters had. Um, the and We'll eventually we'll meet like Spec Ops Grunt, who also used the fuel rod gun. Uh, I, think, I think we'll get to use that one. Ow, there's one behind you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the very first Xbox Halo, you could not use the fuel rod gun, I remember that. But I had the PC version, and they had um, already made an update for the PC port back in the day. So that, that one gun was available in your um, repertoire. Oh boy. Oh, good idea, I get higher ground from these <laughs> stab-happy monsters. Are they any easier to see? Oh no, that... Oh, they're, wait a they're second. a little bit easier to see from the top because you can tell that there's um, there's a character model there that's mm. moving. 
so it's a little bit easier. But no, I was actually wondering. I turned on the old graphics. I'm seeing if they're any easier to see with 2001 oh, tech. A little bit, because it's 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 a lot blockier, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the, and the plasma sword is way brighter in uh, 2001. Yes. So there's like just this obvious sword floating around in the air. Yeah, that makes it somewhat easier. They're not too yeah. bad either, but they are a little blurrier in the updated graphics. Yeah, which is also interesting that like um, in the original graphics, this is yet again the Yikes. level, uh, the map itself is just, it's really dark. It's There's really one coming behind see. you, an invisible boy. Oh, I, no, that's me, sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh god! Oh, ba he was down to his last health, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, it's a little gloomy. Yeah, yeah these, these jackals are very gloomy in the original graphics. Put it on again for a little bit. Oh man, this is a really tough encounter. Yeah. They just keep coming at us. Ah, quick, before I explode! Okay, good. Oh, I opened the door and ran directly into a grenade. Oh, that sucks. Ooh, got the assault rifle. That'll help with the grunts. Why don't you take that, buddy? Okay, so I think getting into these side corridors was the best way to get you to respawn, right? Yes, I'm back now. Oh, okay, we also got a checkpoint. Oh, finally, survived. And now you're invisible. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but sure. Oh, they're hunters! Another wave! Wow, they are not skimping out on the enemies in this map. No, well, it is like they're like home turf, so can't blame them for that, I guess. The hunters also have a tiny orange bit of neck in the front. I think you can also hit them there, but obviously it's much harder than the than the uh, blip in their back. <clears throat> Yikes! Nice! Yeah. Wow, did you melee that guy? Yeah. Sick! I have out of bullets. <laughs> yeah, that's, that'll, that'll, that'll happen, yeah. Oh yeah, Needler's sets. useless against those guys, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty much, yeah. It's one of those panic sets in, so you throw the gun at them. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well.